welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to talk a little bit about this painting, which is called Anansi Awakens. It's from the Anansi series. And I would like to tell you the tale behind this series. The Anansi series takes me back on a time traveling journey, back to the year 2018, where it all began with the heartache of losing my dear father. It was a profound loss that still affects me to this day. After his passing, I thought ways to process my grief and uh, together with my former writing coach, I embarked on a project to commemorate my father's life in an ABC's children picture book. As a form of healing, each letter of the alphabet represented an emotion that resonated with my father for instance, um, when I described the letter D as determination, my coach just dropped one word, Anansi. Now, I'd never heard of this cheeky spider before, but my curiosity was piqued. As a child, my bookshelf wasn't exactly overflowing, but Anansi didn't ring a bell. My father was always busy with a day job and various activities in his spare time, especially for children. They dedicated a newspaper interview to him in 1963. It was quite unusual because my father was one of the first black persons in the Netherlands. The first wave of Surinamese, the colony uh, or the ex-colony, from uh, the Netherlands came in 75. He was a real MVP, a quality that reminded me of Anansi. As I drove into the world of Anansi, I discovered he was more than just a spider. He was a legend of wit and cunning, waving through the time and oceans with his tales of mischief and wisdom. When my project, The Pain of Slavery, was exhibited this year during Black History Month, the idea struck to give Anansi a leading role in the educational aspect of it. Pamela, Blackbird Gallery owner, and I wanted to whip uh, up an interactive experience to introduce children to a difficult subject, like slavery, but in a light-hearted way. And who better than Anansi to spin that web of knowledge? Anansi, the master of humor and trickery, left behind a legacy reminding us that resilience and smarts can see us through the darkest times. His stories offer a breezy way to heavy topics. And I truly believe his spirit of creativity and resilience can inspire both young and old. You may ask yourself, why did you choose to paint Anansi as a child rather than a spider? Because I believe Anansi's spirit of cleverness and resilience resides in each of us regardless of our age. Even when life throws us curveballs, we can awaken our inner Anansi and pleasantly surprised by what we can achieve. So it's not only a child, but I also painted him completely in white. Draped in white, a symbol of purity and ingenuity is an invitation to uncover the true nature of Anansi. And the journey continues in Anansi Unveiled, which is the second painting. A sneak peek of this painting is exclusively for my newsletter subscribers in the April edition. So for those who follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you have to wait a little while. So, for all children from 0 to 99, remember, when faced with challenges and unsure what to do, 
just awaken your Nancy in you. You will be amazed at what you can achieve. Thank you all and let's embrace the power of Anansi, surrounded by laughter, wisdom and resilience. Talk to you next time.